Hi guys, welcome to Travel with Austin. I'm Austin. Today I'm here at the Moonville Tunnel. I've actually already done a video here before. This was actually where my first ever video was filmed. But I decided to come back and talk about it again. Um, partially because I now have a stabilized camera. And I feel like I know a little bit more about the history than I did back then. So, Moonville Tunnel was built around 1856. Um, this land around the tunnel was actually owned by a man named Samuel Coe. And he basically told the rail line, hey, if you build this rail line um, through my land, I will give you the property for free as long as you promise to take out coal and clay for me. And they agreed, um, partially because it was free and also partially because it was a better shortcut to Cincinnati than what they currently had. Now, a small town actually popped up around the tunnel called Moonville. Um, and it was never really a popular town. At its peak in the 1870s, it had about 100 people living in it. Um, and after that, it just kept declining. In 1947, the last family actually moved out of the town. And by the 1960s, all of the buildings were gone. Um... So the only things that are really left here are the tunnel, which you can see in front of you. Um, some power poles that kind of line, if you can see that one up there. And a cemetery that is up a hill that way. Now that cemetery was vandalized a few years ago, um, so I'm not sure of the current state of it. Um, so the tunnel itself is 255 feet long. It is now part of the Moonville Rail Trail. And, um, it's honestly gone some kind of renovations, I guess you could say, over the years. Not the tunnel itself, but actually if you look back here, um, if you can see way off to the distance where my car is. So they actually, um, in the past five years built a bridge, um, where before you'd either have to walk in the water to get over here or take a long loop. Um, and they kind of flattened out the area more and made a parking lot. <laughs> Now, this tunnel is probably the most well-known, well-visited tunnel um, in Ohio. And honestly, it probably competes with neighboring states as well. So let's take a walk through it real quick. So as you can see, it is lined with graffiti. Um, kind of sad because there was a really good piece of graffiti done right underneath where all this new graffiti is um by a somewhat local artist who um i only know as a real detective and it actually depict one of the ghost legends here um but sadly it has been covered up so this is a very short tunnel um however it is very popular even before the bridge was in, um, tons of people came and visited this all the time. But since they built the bridge in the parking lot, um, it's basically become a full-on tourist attraction. To the point where a few years ago, they even started doing a festival here called Midnight at Moonville. Where you would come in and they'd have different little shops and stuff here. Now you can see right here that the tunnel was repaired in 1903 and 1904. And let's come out to the other side here. And this is the other side. Now, um, there are a lot of hauntings associated with this tunnel. And it is known that at least six people died here. Um, and there's three possible deaths, too. One, what. One was when the tunnel was still um, in use. It was supposed to be, I believe, a 10-year-old girl. And then two other ones were more recent. Um, I could not find any actual news articles related to them. However, um, they were apparently within the last two years. Um, but it kind of caught me off as weird because it said that they fell off the tunnel onto the tracks. Which... There have not been tracks here in decades. So anyway, 
this is again the Moonville Tunnel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe. I make new videos every week. And if I get the chance before anyone else comes here, I actually plan on making a video about the hauntings of this tunnel. So once again, I hope you guys like this. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe.